Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to give you the latest update on severe weather. I'm still showing very powerful winds coming today and tomorrow. Two powerful storm systems. I'm still showing over 100 miles per hour winds as well, plus our heat, because July 2021 is now officially our hottest month ever where it was recorded on record. And we are going to break in records already for this month. Matter of fact, for the heat for today, if you're in any of this red, you can expect heat indices of 100 to 105 today. If you're in any of these pink areas, you can expect anywhere up to 110, possibly up to 115 heat indices for today. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. Plus, you can see this has been put out by Scott Duncan Weather. I did retweet it. You can follow me on Twitter and other social media platforms. Links in the description. But the hottest month ever was July of 2021. And this is what it looks like. And we are breaking that record for this month, guys. But you can also see here that the UN Secretary General put a warning out that we don't need to wait to the end of the month to find out unless there's a mini ice age in a few days that July 2023 will break all records. And now they're saying instead of the age of global warming, that is over. Now it's the time of the age of global boiling. So I do have this article in links in the description and a few other articles you can go read and see exactly what happened with our temperatures and what's expected to come. Because now they got some vanishing ice. A lot of the ice is melting and creating these meltwater flows. And this is in Greenland. You can even see the ice canyon where it all went down to meltwater. Now it's 60 feet deep. But links also in the description so you can go below and read what is going on with the ice. Because the ice is vanishing and it's also causing a lot of flooding down the road. That will rise levels in the sea and rivers, guys. That will be towards us. But for today, our heat is going to rise all the way up. And I see it getting even worse in this one section, guys. And for tomorrow, it's going to come right back, be a little bit lower. But once we go into Sunday, then Sunday is going to rise right back up and go across the southeast with some heat. Then you can start getting that cool front coming down from the northwest and the northeast. This is going to come lower. When you go into Monday, the heat's going to come right back again. Very strong, all the way up to 110 in multiple places. And then the cool front comes down again for Monday. Then once you go into Tuesday, it's going to rise up again, very strong temperatures. And then it's going to come down with a cool front again all week long. This is for Tuesday. It's going to come all the way down to 40s now in the northeast. So it's going to be nice and cool. A lot of people get into 50s and 60s. But then Wednesday, the heat comes right back again, bringing 110 all the way up towards Kansas, towards Missouri again. Then the cool front comes down once again for Wednesday, but not as strong as it was for Tuesday. But Thursday... Now you got the heat indices coming right back again all the way towards Illinois. So this heat's coming right back again for next week as well as a cool front comes right back down. Now the, now the Ohio Valley's getting in on some cool fronts by Thursday night. Friday is going to be lower because as this comes even lower, it's going to bring the severe weather even, even lower. And you can see the latest from your AO, your Arctic Oscillation. This cool air comes down, but it comes down even deeper as you come from the 1st all the way through the 10th. You can also see this on National Weather Service. So next six, 10 day temperature probability, you're gonna be below average in all this blue. The white is your average temperatures. And you're gonna be above average from the Northwest all the way up towards the upper Midwest and very hot in the South and the Southeast. But when you go to eight to 14 days, all the way to the 10th, just like I've been screaming with y'all, we're gonna be below average temperatures as this cool front comes down we're in that positive PNA pattern. And on the cooler temperatures is going to be nice because there's a lot of heat still coming, but still with all that heat building, there's still no precipitation all the way until Monday morning. This is National Weather Service model, and you can see how you start to get some precipitation coming towards Arizona as well for your monsoon season. Starting to kick in just a little bit. So until Monday, you're not looking at much rainfall at all. A little bit for South Dakota, Southern Wisconsin, Northern Illinois, by Chicago, Milwaukee area. You can look at maybe an inch, a little over an inch. You're also getting some for Michigan. For Eastern Michigan, you're getting about an inch, a little over an inch to when you get towards Detroit. Then you get it for West Virginia, southwestern Pennsylvania, getting more. But you're also getting it for the coast of Georgia and South Carolina as this group of disorganized thunderstorms comes from Florida, comes towards you. And you're also getting it for a little bit for the coast for North Carolina going towards Virginia. A little bit of Maryland and a little bit of Delaware, not much, and a little bit more for the Northeast. And when you look for the next seven days with National Weather Service and NOAA, you can see it's not much rainfall, guys. All that blue is maybe getting up to an inch 
within seven days. That's about it. It's a little bit heavier for West Virginia, a little bit for Southern Florida, a little bit of isolated areas. That's it. Not much rainfall with all this heat. But our severe weather is kicking up. Now, we do have an enhanced section for today. And so far, there's no chances for tornadoes. But when you look at the latest of what NATO cast put out, they're showing there is a chance, guys. There's a slight chance going into northern Iowa, southern Minnesota, going into northern Illinois, and southern Wisconsin and eastern Iowa seems to be where there's a stronger chance for a tornado, especially for southern Wisconsin for today. And you have a chance for southern Michigan, right where you have those power outages. So just be aware, even though National Weather Service don't have it, later on, if this pops up as true, they will add it. And NATO cast is pretty accurate, so I'm not saying take this with a grain of salt. Take this seriously. I think there is a chance for a tornado for southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois. But National Weather Service don't have anything out yet. So I have the link in the description. It will update as you click on it. Believe me, I think it will be updated. Also with the winds, we have a big wide area of 5%, 15%, and now a big 30% for damaging winds. Here's your cities and states at risk. And over here in the red from Chicago all the way to Rockford, I think this could grow to significant severe where you can see hurricane force winds. Just please be aware of that. Plus you have chances for hail, even large hail. All this black is two inches in diameter or greater, but we have the big 5% and the 15% as well. And here's your cities and states at risk for the hail for today. Plus, when I check the 15 minute increments of HRRR on our damage and winds, you can see multiple areas that get started. Over here for Colorado, over here for Southern Wisconsin, which shows the highest winds. Also over here for Western Ohio. It starts picking up multiple places, getting damage and winds all the way to 10 o'clock tonight. Now this is showing 60 and 70 miles per hour wind gusts coming from Colorado going into Nebraska. But over here for southern Minnesota, that's 50 and 60, a little bit of 70. For from Wisconsin to northern Illinois, this right here is showing, it's showing 110. But we can take that with a grain of salt. You always downgrade a little bit. But I definitely think that 80, maybe even up to 90 will be possible with that. That is some very strong winds, a little bit of everywhere. So this is very powerful. We can get some strong Storms come through Wyoming and Montana. But when it goes through southeastern Minnesota, that's 60 and 70. But once it goes towards Wisconsin, towards Illinois, that's where it's really picking up to a lot of strong winds. So let's take a look at that with Wisconsin, and let's see how bad that is really getting. Look at this. It's talking over 110 in this vicinity. Plus, you have some 60 and 70, even 80 coming with this as well. Now, I am over here in Milwaukee. Don't worry about me, guys. I'm more worried about you. But this is some very high winds that's going to be passing through for today. And when we upload the, the nearest one, the latest update, this shows a widespread area of just a lot of winds that's coming through for today. All showing 60, 70, 80, still showing over 90 in a lot of these storm cells. So what NATO cast showed that possible tornado for this region, I believe it. It's also showing that 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gust is picking up for Ohio as well. Also, once we hit around 5, 6 p.m., the storm's going by eastern Virginia, going to Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, even eastern Pennsylvania, a little bit of western Pennsylvania. 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. But you can see how much better resolution that actually is than just regular HRRR. Regular HRRR is showing a big pocket of high winds, especially right here for southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois. But you see how the 15-minute increments really gets in on it. But you can't see for tomorrow. So once you look for tomorrow, you see the storms come in later tonight from Nebraska. This is bringing 50, 60, even 70 miles per hour wind gusts all the way across southern Iowa, northern Missouri, across Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, going to Arkansas, Tennessee. Just a big, nasty storm that's going to be brewing for tomorrow as well. Now, before we go to the map, guys, for tomorrow, there's a slight risk in multiple areas, and they are showing so far a chance for tornadoes in multiple locations. So far, there's your cities and states at risk. It is a 2%. Also showing wind for tomorrow and hail for tomorrow. So here's your cities and states at risk for the wind damage for tomorrow, for Saturday, and here's your cities and states at risk for the hail for Saturday. They even have it stretching into Sunday for some severe weather, guys. I believe this could be possible hail. So far, here's your cities and states at risk, but do not rule out damage and winds. You saw how it was starting to get widespread. So as we go through this a little bit, we can see what's going with the storm. So you can see that a group of disorganized thunderstorms is coming towards the Carolinas, 
for this morning and passing through and that is bringing y'all some rainfall still going all the way till noontime and two o'clock still bringing y'all some nasty storms and still getting some nasty storms that's moving over florida for today so just be aware you could see another water spout possibility that could come close to land and see a possible tornado you know how you get those all the time matter of fact you got a little bit of a convection area right there a little outlook for these storms as it comes in but i'm not seeing anything brewing up it's just going to bring some heavy rainfall and some storms towards y'all and if you go for the whole 48 hours it's not showing anything coming out of that but these storms that's coming in for this afternoon this is where it's really going to spark up some severe weather for minnesota for wisconsin going to illinois also for michigan get a lot of nasty hail cores in those as well and this is by 4 p.m this afternoon it starts to build up really strong and look at this this is by 5 p.m and this is where we saw all them strong winds look at these hail cores that's coming in here all this black that you see is all indicating chances for large hail this is a lot of chances for large hail to come in all of this black section just be aware that i'm in i'm in wisconsin with you as well so just be aware these storms are coming through all evening long and five o'clock that's when you really get a strong part of your daytime heating that looks like a pretty serious uh time is at around five o'clock and then it goes to six and it keeps going to seven it just strong storms passing through wisconsin all evening long by eight by nine still there by southern wisconsin but now it's going towards michigan and that keeps going northern indiana northern illinois this swings through all even long even by midnight still sitting there going over michigan going over northwestern ohio or over indiana and now it's going towards west virginia it's going towards pennsylvania and this is late in the night early in the morning y'all getting them storms guys and probably getting some winds as well you can see the bowing out in that line of storms as that keeps going all morning long then for tomorrow for tomorrow it goes towards the northeast in the new england states this is at six o'clock in the morning it starts brewing up some storms for y'all and it's mostly around the new england states around new hampshire vermont maine you get a little bit of isolated for pennsylvania for new york and then it sparks right back up with that daytime heating right around four o'clock for connecticut massachusetts you even get some for rhode island all y'all getting in on some nasty storms for today and tomorrow but y'all's is coming overnight into the morning so just be aware of that then we got this nasty line of storms that's going to come in over here later tonight as all this swirls around it's going to start off in montana for nine o'clock tonight and it's going to swing around and it's going to get really strong once you get into the early morning hours that's what's a little concerning this is bringing high winds with this as well hail core is coming through iowa by six o'clock tomorrow morning south dakota then it starts going through illinois for tomorrow and then you start getting like a little straight line event that kicks in for tomorrow afternoon from illinois southern indiana and that goes all even long into kentucky as well and once you get into nine o'clock at night then it starts going towards a little bit of northeastern arkansas a little bit of tennessee but that's as far as we can take it guys so it's some strong storms for today and tomorrow but the storms for today are really going to be strong i guarantee you we're going to see a lot of reports coming through wisconsin through northern illinois and through ohio and indiana a lot of high winds a lot of large hail cores i can't get over the size of the hail cores that's coming up with that shot that is unbelievably large hail coming out of these storms just be aware of it this is going to be a nasty storm but let's lay this quick update on what's going on with the tropics guys we do have multiple errors this one over here is at zero percent just like i showed you a little while ago it's just gonna be a group of disorganized thunderstorms it's not doing anything out of it this right here is moving through central america bringing some heavy rainfall but that's going into the eastern pacific and this disturbance has gone up to 60 percent chance now that's a chance to get at least a tropical depression i'm still showing no impacts it's still going to curve around and not affect anyone and you can see here from the euro for cyclone locations it could actually even strengthen up to a tropical storm maybe even a hurricane which don't even matter guys it's not going to affect anybody still showing we're on that break all the way to august 10th and 11th and you can see here with the euro maybe some waves are going to start kicking off as we go from august 10th to august 12th and for all my friends in the caribbean i know y'all getting pushed this i see it out there oh it's coming your way you're going to be okay you can see with the rainfall that you might get a half an inch up to an inch tops 
from this system as it turns by. This is about a Euro and GFS. No big deal. Also with the wind, you can see with the wind accumulation for the next five days, not affecting y'all. You're going to be fine. And you can see the latest update with the Euro that we're still going on that break from any tropical activity all the way to August 10th or 12th or maybe even further. Now GFS says that it might be something that slips through on August 9th, also August 13th. It's been hitting a little bit in the Gulf of Mexico, a front end due slow. Take this with a grain of salt, guys. GFS has not been right yet this year. But thank you so much for y'all's time today. Please prepare for these storms. These are going to be some nasty storms with a lot of wind. And I do see a lot of hail, especially coming in for Wisconsin. But those winds on two storms, it's not just one. It's going to come overnight tonight and start all over again for tomorrow. So please prepare for these storms. If you know somebody in these impacts, please share this information to them. Let them be warned of it. Get anything out your yard that could be projectiles for you or your neighbors. Keep everyone as safe as possible. But I do appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank you so much for your time today. Now today I want to read to you Psalm 107, 1 through 8. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And gather them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Amen. God bless you all. Hope you have a very safe weekend. I'm going to take my family out until Monday. I'll be back on Monday. I can't see myself taking a seven-day vacation. But I am going to take them out until then. So I hope you will be safe from these winds for today and tonight. And I will see you again on Monday morning. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray it keeps y'all safe tonight. I think these winds will knock some power out. Just be careful. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great night, everybody, and be safe, please.